Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 23rd of June 2014 and today we're having a look at this video uh, Strange Clouds Helix, but wait what created it? Auckland, uh, June 2014 This, um, this video is by uh, Porteus Suciatus Luca if I'm pronouncing that correctly um, and it was uploaded on the 7th of June 2014. Let's have a look at the description. Got up to look out the back window and saw this dark vertical cloud so started filming. The cloud started to unwind into a helix type thing so I kept filming. 50 seconds in an object appears out of the bulbous end of the cloud and flies down to the horizon. Definitely no commercial flight, any ideas what it could be? How was it out of sight for that time? Um, well, first of all, um, let's play some of this video. I'm going to set the speed a little bit faster uh, because it's pretty slow, and I'll mute it. And let's play this. Now, some things that we, we notice here, it's, it looks very dark. It almost looks like smoke. But the other thing that we notice when he zooms out is that the clouds are also very dark. And we can see um, in the wide shots that the sun has actually set. The, the sun is, is below the horizon. We're looking west here. Now, of course, I live in New Zealand. This, uh, this guy lives pretty much up the road from me. He lives in Auckland, which is our largest city here in New Zealand. Now, he lives near the Auckland International Airport, and he's filming aircraft. Now, I'll just get one of these stable shots here. We're going to have a look at the sky. You can see the contrail here from the from the aircraft as it's flying away. This is an aircraft that is flying out of the Auckland International Airport. It is flying away from the observer. It's probably heading uh, to Australia, west of New Zealand. Now, this is why it looks like it's heading straight down, because it's flying directly away from the observer and his camera. Now we can see that um, the the trail uh, has actually broken up significantly from when we started. Uh, this video is three and a half minutes long and I've got it playing at two times normal speed. So let's see what happens as we um, get towards the end. We'll have another look at that cloud and, and see how it's, uh, how it's looking when he zooms back out. Let's have a look, hopefully. Yep, you can see it's broken up there. Um, I'm just going to bring it back and uh, and pause it. Look at these other clouds. You see how they're, they're dark? These ones down here, they're also dark. It's because the sun has set, it's below the horizon, and it's actually so far below the horizon that it's not actually shining up to the underside of the clouds. And the same thing for the um, aircraft contrail. Let's go back to the beginning, have another look. Um, I'll play that again. Remember that this is flying away from us, so from our perspective, the contrail is actually all bunched up. Okay, there's a good good wide shot. I'll just take that back there to that wide shot. Okay, so we can see we're looking towards the um, the, the west here. That the sun has set over the horizon, and uh, he's some distance away. And um, you know, it's actually quite a zoom in to see the contrail. But look at these other clouds here. We can see how dark they look because the, the sun is so far below the horizon that it's not actually shining up on the underside. Now, I'm going to show you something else in a minute, but let's just play that a bit more, take a closer look. Um, now, what's actually happening here is um, the air currents are breaking up the contrail. They're, they're pushing them around, and this is what has created this helix um, uh, effect. It's not actually a helix, it's just the way that the, um, that the air currents have actually blown the two streams of the, uh, the contrail around. So it actually looks like he's gone into a spin, but it's, it's just that the, it's been blown around, it's, um, it's broken up. And uh, now you might ask the question, well if, if that's a contrail, why does it suddenly appear? Well, for the same reason, if I go back out to the, the wide shot again, for the very same reason that we've got patches of cloud, we have to remember that the conditions in, in the sky are not uniform temperature and humidity. That's why we have patches of cloud. You know, if the sky was uniform temperature and humidity, then we'd either have no cloud or we'd have all cloud. 
and uh, you know we've all seen uh, clouds that um, you know if you if you're looking up and watching the clouds form on a on a day where uh, you know there's there's a good air current you can see the clouds moving about and and changing shape and and forming and um, and disappearing as as well um, and the other thing to remember of course is that the aircraft actually has to get up to altitude and the further up you go in the in the atmosphere, the, the colder it is. In fact, once you once you're up to about 37,000 feet, well, actually much lower than 37,000 feet, uh, you're actually uh, below zero uh, degrees Celsius, which is freezing point. Um, so this aircraft has left the Auckland International Airport. It's got high enough in altitude, and it's hit a, a cold patch and an area where the um, humidity is, is right for the contrails to form just as we see the clouds forming here in patches and that's what we're seeing we're seeing the aircraft contrail it looks pretty scary there but you know as we go further into the video we can clearly see there's the contrail uh, once the camera is focused um, now to this youtuber I won't try and pronounce your name again but I recommend if you're taking more um, videos um, and this is advice from Dazza the cameraman um, do set your camera to manual focus and set it to infinity and that way your videos will always be in focus you won't lose it on the autofocus but anyway here is the aircraft control you can see the controls coming out of the uh, um, it, this could actually be a four engine plane but because you've got the the um, two engines on each side of the aircraft they will combine like this um, and I'll google some other aircraft contrail um, images in a moment and we'll look at those but before we do I want to take a look at the other videos by this um, youtuber and if we scroll down um, we can see multiple videos that go back um, over a year uh, where he claims that he's filmed Comet Alanin. Now nobody filmed Comet Alanin because it was never a naked eye object but all of these other videos again are sunlit aircraft contrails and here's another good example I'll load this one up. Let's uh, let that load up and once he zooms in uh, where is it? So again we're looking out to the to the, uh, the west uh, flying out to Australia and zooming in let's take it in further again you're struggling with the autofocus there so you need to use the manual focus and there is an aircraft contrail okay and again you've got the two streams from both sides of the aircraft it's probably a four engine aircraft and you've got the, the two streams coming out each side so like I said we've, we've got multiple videos on this channel actually filming aircraft leaving the Auckland International Airport um, over the period of over a year. Check out all of these other videos you see all the same thing. Now some of these contrails are, are sunlit because the uh, the sun is just down low on the horizon and some of them like this one here is it's again it's dark because the, the sun is actually below the horizon and it's not shining up below and illuminating the contrail. So here we go, here is a Google search for sunlit aircraft contrails and uh, just click on images and we can see plenty of examples of sunlit aircraft contrails. Uh, now this one here is a good one, we've got the, uh, the sunlight, obviously the sun is not uh, too, too uh, far down, it's not below the horizon um, and it's shining on the contrail and illuminating it so it looks rather fiery and we can see that uh, this is a twin engine plane and we've got the uh, contrail streams out each side of the aircraft. This one here is a good one, uh, it looks like a fireball coming through the sky but again it is an aircraft flying away from the observer which looks like, uh, which is why it looks like it is heading downwards, it's because it's flying away. If it was flying towards us it would look like it was coming up from, from the bottom of the uh, image. And what else have we got? There's plenty of um, examples here um, so you can check them out um, now this one here is a good example as well 
looks like the uh, same sort of thing but the difference is the sun is not so low uh, below the horizon that it's not shining up and um, illuminating the clouds in this case it is and so this thing looks like a big fireball that's coming down out of the sky um, I mean the reason why this looks so fiery is the same reason why the clouds look so fiery it's just the low sun the same sort of thing that gives us the beautiful uh, sunsets that we all love to look at and photograph but again here we see that the uh, the air currents the turbulence in the atmosphere is actually breaking up that contrail so it, it looks like it's um, looks like smoke coming off it same sort of thing as what we're seeing in the video so there we have it and that's what we're seeing in this video it's an aircraft contrail as this aircraft is flying away from the Auckland International Airport you can go onto flightradar24.com and see the vicinity of uh, Auckland International Airport and check out the flights that are leaving uh, national and international flights uh, leaving for Australia and other destinations um, and yeah, check out the other videos by Porteus Sukiotos Luca, if that's how, how you pronounce it. He's got a number of videos on his channel, you might like to check those out. And as always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.